Hi, I'm Marco Delacava with USA Today. Now, in the coming days, I'll be joining my colleagues in Las Vegas to cover the Consumer Electronics Show. That's one of the biggest tech fests in the world. And I'll be focusing on cars and tech as the automobile is fast becoming just a rolling platform so for all sorts of uh, engineering and computer breakthroughs. Take the car I'm wedged into today. It's a sports car from the British manufacturer McLaren, and it's called the 650S. What's the big deal? Let's take a look. This car actually incorporates a carbon fiber tub. There's no frame. It weighs 165 pounds, and that's the whole chassis of your car. So it shaves a ton of weight. It's really, really durable and safe, and it's really, really cool that you have a carbon fiber car. Uh, another key highlight of the tech side of the car is the air brake. The rear spoiler on the car from high speed, heavy braking, it will lift up and give you kind of an airfoil like a real race car to slow down the car and get it in place, you know, from a distance considerably faster than a car that wouldn't have that technology. So we use a, a hydraulic sus suspension system which eliminates the need for traditional anti-roll bars. So the car is a whole lot more comfortable and manageable just around town, but when you get out cornering hard on a racetrack, things like that, the independent corners of the car with their hydraulic fluids enable the car to be really firm, balanced, and stiff, which is something you critically need in a performance car. And you were talking to me earlier about how McLaren almost considers itself uh, an engineering company. Yeah, we're an engineering company that happens to be in a very sexy business, obviously. So, you know, the, the root of everything we do is generated from Formula One, and then it trickles down two different directions. There's McLaren Applied Technologies, which basically takes so much of that big data computation abilities and technology for production and component assembly and rolls that into a consulting arm of our tech business. And then, of course, there's McLaren Automotive, which is the 650S, and this is really where all the technology we develop in those Formula One cars trickles down to the street for the first time, like the carbon fiber put tub we mentioned. Now, if you can believe it, this car, the McLaren 650S, is actually a baby version of the McLaren P1, which is a $1.2 million supercar that really lives on the track. This car is $300,000, a little bit under. It's a convertible. Um, but essentially what you realize after spending a few days uh, driving it is that you're really at the wheel of a computer that happens to have four rubber wheels. Uh, everything is available at the push of a button or the click of a switch, things that in the old days really uh, weren't available to sports cars like this. And so the technology, which is really at its peak in uh, Formula One racing overseas, tends to trickle down to cars like the McLaren 650S. And that in turn trickles down to really the average car that we drive uh, which we know we can connect in so many ways to our uh, gadgets that we have in our pockets. So it's really exciting to see what sort of developments we will see at the Consumer Electronics Show. So stay with USA Today for full coverage from CES and stay with me for coverage on autos and tech. For USA Today, I'm Marco Della Cava.